you know, it's 38 degrees today. And let me tell you something, it's cold, okay? It's cold, especially here in Florida. I know when you live in the north, you don't feel it, but we gotta play tennis out in 38 degrees. And what I'm telling my kids today, it's all about perspective. You have to have an unbelievable perspective. You change it in your mind, all right? You can be down 6141 and you can feel like you're losing the match, but let me tell you something, the match isn't over. What I love about tennis, love, love, love about tennis, it's not about time. Right, 6141, you have time. Does there's not a time clock rolling down. So if you change your perspective, figure out a way to get one point, figure out a, point, a way to get that second point. Then all of a sudden, you're gonna find yourself 4-2, 4-3, 4-4, and you find yourself right back in the match. So we take the weather here at Zinc Tennis, we take the weather and, and take it to tennis. And we take tennis, we take it to the weather. So no one is allowed today to say it's cold outside. No one's allowed to worry that, oh, I'm freezing. It's, you know, it's about dress appropriately, get your focus on and think positively. Have a different perspective. If you do that, you're gonna have a winning game. I promise. Do this right, but you watch like Sam Stokes or hit her forehand. She so first, when you see a guy hit his forehand, he's gonna stay, let's say that this is the plane, right? He's gonna stay more on the right side and lose his hand. When you see the girls, especially like in the Florida girls, like they end up here and they take their racket back and they pass this and then they come in a circular motion this way instead of driving through the shot. Does that make sense? Has anybody ever told you to keep it more on the right side? Okay, and now let's talk about the footwork. What's the footwork that you know? Like just the different feet that you know. You know, obviously, open stance. Yeah. Does open stance to you mean completely open? Yes. Okay, perfect. And, and then what other stance do we know? Close stance. Okay. So, my question to you is are you. This is, this is my take. Obviously, I have a certain way that I want to coach, right? And I, and I, I have a way, right? It doesn't always mean it's the right way. After you go through today and tomorrow, I promise you that if you leave on tomorrow afternoon and you want to go back to your old way, it's easy to do. So whatever I tell you this weekend is a trial and error and you can talk to me about it, okay? If it works, then we can work more on it, right? But what I, I what I want it, I want it to feel, and not, I can't promise it's always going to feel better at the beginning, but I can promise you that it's going to be different, and I think my gut is that the result's going to be different. That's why I took a beginning and after, okay? So let me, I'm going to give you a vision of what you just did. There's your turn. And that, that's where you said you were. You maybe let go too soon. See how you? Yeah, I did. Yep, yeah. yep. And see how you're haven't hit the ball yet. And do you see how your hips are kind of facing the net? Yeah. We want to keep those turned until the last minute. Yeah. Yep. You, you got it. And then that one almost feels a little jammed, right? Mm -hmm. And good, and good follow through. I want to get the uh, one more from uh, behind. So this one. Okay. So you can really see. And this is what I'm talking about. So do you see how the racket, the, I, I'm okay with this right here. Um, this is where I struggle a little bit. You see right there. So you're still, you're, I'm not seeing this part of your hips being part of the compact. See, you've already, you've already used your hips and now it's done. And so you see where your racket, oh, it's almost like it's pointing back this way. Yeah. And that's what I want to make sure that it, I love the follow through. You're left hand over there, but I actually think what you said to me earlier that it could be on the throat, yeah. right? It could be on the throat of the racket. Oh yeah, so, no, it should be. Yeah, yeah okay, just, good. Yeah. Okay. Some people like if you look at David Ferrer, yeah. he does this, right? He does the split hands, which I'm not, I'm okay with. Okay. Okay. So now, then, get, this is what happens with with. You're gonna watch his elbow, and you're gonna watch his elbow extend towards. Watch what you do first. Mm -hmm. So you go here, and then we go in, and this is because, and you go in a circular motion, but watch your elbow here. You see how it's, it's always bent? It never extends? Mm -hmm. 
Watch what happens. It's really close. Yes. But that's also because of the way you set up a little bit, right? Okay. Um, so watch how his arm extends. You see how it completely extends? And it all stays over here on the right side. And see how much more straight his arm is. Yeah. But then, watch, the, watch this. Okay. You see what I mean? Yeah. So the finish actually gets to the, you get to the right spot. Yeah, okay. Do you want the, the good news? The good news is you get to the right spot. Yeah. What's the bad news? The bad the news. The way I get there. Right. The bad <laughs> yeah. news is, is you've already, you've already struck the ball. Yeah. Right? So the, this is good, but, the, but what's on the ball has kind of left, right? It's, it, the, the, so we need, what I'm going to do is I have three progressions. Yeah. And it's going to seem so simplistic. I do it with my kids almost every day. So we do three progressions to get you to know what the forehand should feel like, and then I'm going to put all three progressions together. And I can't promise you that it's going to feel like amazing, but what I can promise you is it's going to feel good, like from progression two to progression one, it's going to feel amazing. But then I don't want you to try to um, look ahead and go, oh my gosh, well, I, you know, or project a future story. But what I want you to do is just stay present and say, okay, if this feels good, it feels good. If it doesn't, it doesn't.